Hi there, sign of the Aries. This is Kim. Here to do your reading for you guys. This reading is going to be next 48 hour reading. Um, and I hope you're doing really good out there. I'm using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. So we're going to pull general messages for you, Aries. Asking your spirit guides and your angels join us. And thank you so much, guys, for your likes and your um, subscribes, which a lot, a lot of support has come from the sign of Aries. I appreciate that. Let's do it probably one more time. Saw the moon. Saw the moon. I'm going to shuffle it a little bit like this and then cut it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to cut it, but I think this is your issue because it it's coming out like that. You know what I mean? So, Heart of the Matter, Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Um, that's doing your research. You know, like this um, kid on this card is, is very excited by something that he's discovered or found um and and you know this kid has reference to here you see the little swords too um being observed being watched by somebody else too that might be some kind of message for you the fool here is a great energy i mean it's just <laughs> like that the cat's knocking over the paint bin and it looks like it's the looks like it's the river <laughs> You're being, you're being asked to take a leap of faith. Um, sometimes people, you know, that they, they want to represent the fool as being naive. I don't think it's naive. I think it's more so a beginner's mind. Like taking the risk for, yes, something to happen. It might storm, but there's always the rainbow. And the rainbow is the gifts that are coming your way it's a good future the hawk here is your you know strong eye on what you want you have a mystical pegasus in the background <laughs> um you have the butterfly change and transformation and then again you always have there's somebody else looking at you <laughs> This person's supposed to be working, but they're looking at you. So, got his hard hat on, though. Got his hard hat on. What's the challenge? The hermit in reverse. And I'll tell you, the black color is going to represent the major archetypes. And then the elements kind of go with the color. The card will be the color of the element. So like water, three of cups here as the underlying issue. The heart of the matter, past energy. I have queen of coins in the reverse. Now energy, seven of coins in the reverse. Okay. Future energy, four of wands. That's what I'm saying. You are feeling like the Queen of Swords, nice. Ten of Wands in the reverse for the situation in your environment. Ace of Cups in the reverse for fear, for a fear. And then I have nice, okay, Four of Swords as the outcome card, which is a pretty good card to get. Um, look, guys, this might be about a child, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The signs that you have are Capricorn, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Aries, you again, here, Virgo, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Sagittarius, or Libra again. So Libra is really strong. In your reading past energy Capricorn this is a it's not a bad reading this is not a bad reading um so with the three of cups here as the heart of the matter underneath the fool which is the new adventure 
and the challenge here being the hermit who is in reverse. So upright, the hermit in this deck is really being focused on um, self-study, increasing wisdom. There's a little bit here about staying at home, being with your companion um, animal friends here, right? There's a little cat, there's a dog. Um, there's light being shown on yourself because you're the one enlightening yourself. When it's in the reverse, it's time to have a beginner's mind, meaning take all that you have learned and let it resonate deep within your soul. But when you go out on this new adventure, what that I call integrating all of this that you learned in the Hermit Energy, use a beginner's mind and know that it is a brand new adventure and yes, one day you'll end up going retreating and processing all the information um, and experiences from this adventure. But until then, it's time to actually live in the adventure. So really living, taking chances, um, integrating your knowledge regarding past. And then when you integrate it, you drop it from uh, needing to influence anything. Okay, so you do have knowledge, you do have wisdom, you'll make good decisions, but we're not going to judge before we see what's to come. Okay, so I think that's watch about prejudgments, watch about how you judge things or not judge things. Use your uh, wisdom what wisely. Three of Cups here is a good card, especially for socializing. Going to parties, going networking. Look at that sweet little dog in the background. Um, oh, he's cute. I don't think I've ever noticed him before. Um, the two people there look like they're having a really good time. Uh, in the front, they're talking, and then the other one looks like she's having fun serving them tea or whatever that is. And they're laughing and they're smiling and they're having good times, making good memories. Maybe they're reuniting. Maybe it's that since the generations kind of look like a trifecta, maiden, mother, crone, right? So celebrating. You'll be celebrating this new beginning and that might be what this is all about. The past energy is the queen of coins. I have that knight of coins on the bottom. So I feel like you're in process of getting your money. You're still working at something, um, but it is going to come in slow but steady. The Queen of Queens in the reverse. Ah, okay, because sometimes that can be a person who's like, you know, kind of interfering with your domestic affairs. It can be somebody who is, yeah, who would be interfering. So it could be a Capricorn energy. It could be somebody that's just... um trying to be nosy and part of your business. It's inappropriate, you know, uh, whatever it is that these people do, it's usually inappropriate. It can be a misuse of um, resources or it could be like living in a different way than you're used to and not liking it. <laughs> not liking, yeah, okay. So there's three of cups, but it's like almost in the reverse, but here's three of cups up, right? So there might have been some people, kind of shady people in the past here. You may even be associated with gossip or third party situation. What life was mirroring back to you at this time in the past is, is not what it is in the present because we've changed our thoughts, our way of thinking to more positive and, and mirroring back to us more healthy relationships seven of coins in the reverse seven of coins in the reverse with the justice libra again libra energy um justice finding truth in what you invested there may be something that we've invested a lot in um, and now have to make a decision, now have to decide, or maybe there's something that is not giving us much time to make a decision. Maybe they make a decision here. I don't know what this is, you know, if it, it could be about, justice could be about a court issue. 
I feel like it's a, a sense of urgency, not really being able to wait and needing to make a decision. Yeah, okay, because with the Ten of Swords, you completely walked away from a situation. You counted your, your losses, and you're like, oh, well. Now, resistance to change is still here, though, with this Ten. This could be Gemini, and um, this could be definitely be um, Gemini, too. Yeah. So somebody really did let you down. Your investment didn't, in whatever this, whoever this person is, didn't feel like it paid off. Or didn't feel, maybe it's you're feeling like yourself let yourself down. I don't know. In its best, the, the tens are completions. And, and it means it's done and it's, it's ready for a rebirth. Then I feel like it's practicing for the big show. Practicing for the big show. So there wasn't really anything to lose. The Four of Wands here is your future energy. It's beautiful because that's your energy here. Um, Aries, very fiery. Oh, we have the Hanged Man. So Virgo energy again here with the Hermit in reverse. The Hanged Man is, is seeing this from a different perspective. And... Um, yeah, like I said, it's not really a loss because it led you to this. And this is your Ten of Cups. <laughs> so the way that you're viewing this is love first and everything else will follow. And I think you're right. It could be the marriage card. It can also be any kind of milestone where people are getting together to celebrate this. Like in addition to family, these people are celebrating with the Ten of Cups. It's a really beautiful... Um, that's beautiful. Having a new perspective on what makes you want to celebrate, on what you think your sole purpose is. Also being very aware that this waiting, this patience, needing to have patience is part of this 1010 message as temperance energy is divine timing. And 1010 is to me related to the temperance energy. All right, so in divine timing, sorry about that, in divine timing, um, queen of swords here, being focused, going after what you want, you feel, I think you feel like some things um, we're still looking at um, in comparison, we're still, I'll, I'll be honest, you're focused after what you want. But you are still focused on mainly getting the facts out here, and you are feeling kind of betrayed. So there's this new beginning is somewhat of a challenge for you to grasp here. As the full in reverse and the, the Knight of Swords in reverse are both like, nah, I'm resistant to changing. But look, the Nine of Cups is here. This is a wish granted. Well, like I said, you're in the middle of this truth. You're in the middle of walking away from something and embracing something new. Um, like the Knight of Pentacles, it may be moving slowly, but it is moving. Um, the Queen of Swords always gets what she wants. Very protective. Always gets the truth. Ten of Wands here in reverse with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Kind of like as a challenge. I think, um, yeah, you're, you're letting go of attachments to... Things that kind of were weighing you down. Um, you know, the Four of Pentacles, it can sometimes be representing something greedy or holding on to something just because. Um, and, and, and in another sense, I think it's about <laughs> saving because it's like it's the challenge. So it's the challenge ultimately would be what is close to your heart. What do you hold close to your heart? You don't have to um, get rid of everything, right? We, You don't have to say, you know, oh, go without that to appreciate it. You don't have to do that. I think it's more Four of Pentacles and more about being sensible of what you hold on to. Is it something that you really need? Is there something in our situation we're denying or not accepting? And that's why we're holding on to something. Putting too much stock in material items as bringing comfort or emotions. It can lead to dysfunction. So, yeah, I think that, that that's the main messages there with that. Ace of Cups is just the fear. So, we'll just touch on it. 
King of Cups here is clarifying the Ace of Cups in the reverse. I feel like this is um, a hope, not a fear. I think it's a hope to do something before that you've done in the past. But this time it's in a different energy. So that's why they're saying look at it with a beginner's mind. The King of Cups is really in control of his emotions. Could represent a Scorpio in your life or someone that you're going to to help you with your moods. And your perspective, something or someone comes in to guide you and helps you with your perspective uh, on whether something is a celebration or not. And I feel like it is. And there it is. There's the temperance. It's all divine timing. It's all about this patience and everything's unfolding as it should. 4-4 four, four is um, letting you know that everything you're experiencing right now is necessary for you to grow on your life path and heal for you to grow and heal right now maybe a time a respite of uh taking time out the two is a two of um wands in reverse is oh added to the four of wands that's your six of wands that's celebration and victory the two of ones in reverse is saying, oh, there's a lot more paths available to you. If you take the time out to rest, like being advised, you're going to end up seeing these possibilities kind of pop out at you. And uh, they might have to do with work, eight of pentacles. There's something that's just going to click. You're going to make it work and it's just going to be really good for you. So Aries, let's, um, let's get a card to close your energy out let's get um a number card an angel number and then we'll get a, something from the sacred spirit oracle zero 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 and that might be it you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve you have the ability to create something new and incredible here in your lifetime on earth. In your lifetime on earth. I am a creator. Ooh, gosh, guys. You might be feeling some really crazy aches and pains as kundalini uh, energy goes to certain areas. And boy, if it's blocked, you'll feel it. If you feel very tense or like you've got a big ball of energy in your spine or your neck or your head. Um, do some stretches, definitely do some, um, you know, some yoga poses. Everybody knows basically by memory, well, you know, what yoga poses are. Just stretch till it feels, you know, whatever, comfortable. If something's uncomfortable, then don't do it. Don't stretch that way. <laughs> it's all supposed to be really fluid and, and move really nice and easy. And without effort, the kundalini will rise and oh my goodness, you'll feel it feel it that's exciting. that's exciting all right so sending you light and love by my aries thanks again for all your support